Greetings to all of you gathered there in Oslo for the Red Exchange. I wanted to send you a message of appreciation for all that you are doing and to wish you success with your deliberations over the next two days. One thing became abundantly clear to me when I got involved in this work. Norway and your partners are the global leaders on forest protection and you are making huge investments in the people who safeguard them. So I wanted to say thank you to Norway in particular for that investment and to let you know that it is thanks to Norway that over the last two years I became an advocate for forest protection and indigenous people's rights. The Equator Prize and my work with UNDP have helped me connect the dots between land rights, forest protection, and climate change. I've met and heard firsthand from indigenous peoples around the world about the challenges they face protecting our planet's remaining tropical forests. Many are up against powerful forces, companies and governments that are all too willing to concede forests for short-term economic gain. It was a great honor to be there in Paris last December when the new climate agreement was reached, but I recognize that it is now that the difficult work of implementation begins and that the world needs to be reminded that forests are the only safe, natural, proven technology that exists for carbon capture and storage that when we lose our forests, we foreclose on the best climate solution we have. So while Paris was my introduction to these issues, I wanted all of you to know that I will continue to be a vocal champion of forest protection and indigenous people's rights. It is a great honor for me to be associated with you and your important work. Sending all of you gathered in Oslo my deepest appreciation and admiration for all that you do.